if you're an african you grew up with this you know this is bunny so when i was little i grew up watching this bunny the one on the screen but when i went to parties the bunny i saw was different no wonder i was always afraid to shake that bunny because my mommy is always like oh fear fear <laughs> You were listening to Ayo and Tail. Don't lie. Because God is watching you. I didn't really listen to them. I did. But not really. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Gracie. Sorry, the background looks a bit dark. It's because the sun is going down. And I just said, you know what? I'm going to make this video before the sun goes down. Today, we are talking about things that African children grew up with. Just in case you are a new subscriber, welcome. We were expecting you. We knew you would come. Yeah. Don't tell me how. Don't hesitate to click the subscribe button. Like, share with your mama, your papa, and your auntie. Comment what you want me to do. I will be forever grateful. We are at 50 subscribers. Thank you so much again. I appreciate I'm so happy. Check this morning and it was 50 subscribers. Whoa. So let's take it to 100. I'm waiting. Just help me share because you're also part of the family. You get. Without further ado, let's get into the video. The one thing that if you're an African, you grew up with this, you know this, is banning. So when I was little, I grew up watching this bunny, the one on the screen. But when I went to parties, the bunny I saw was different. No wonder I was always afraid to shake that bunny. Because my mommy is always like, oh, fear, fear. What kind of one shake bunny that I used to watch on TV? They don't look the same. Am I lying? Like, they don't look the same. No, they don't. Mm -mm. I was afraid to shake them. Because it's not the same. How can I see a fat bunny and then I'm looking at a bunny who looks like he just took cocaine. I'm wearing a plain t-shirt so don't mind that. Number two is nutrition. When I was in um, primary school, we used to buy this thing. I think as I then it was like 20 or 30 naira. But I don't see nutrition that much again. What I see is Eve. So, but Nutrisi was so nice because it had different yummy flavors. Eve just had two flavors that I know of. I don't know if it's true or not, but I only knew two flavors. But Nutrisi had lots of flavors, citrus, and it was only citrus fruits they were measuring in. You know, you tear the Nutrisi nylon, pour it inside bottle, and then fill it up with water, go to school. Your friends will be begging. Sometimes some people even lick it raw, their tongue will be so orangey. But all the same, we grew up with it. If you lie that you did not take nutrition when you were small, God is looking at you. God is looking at you. One is Mr. Biggs. Now, I don't know if every African person will relate to this. At least Nigerians will relate to this. If you grew up and you did not go to Mr. Biggs, what was your childhood? so sorry so sorry maybe you could have gone to other places but like how was your childhood i remember everyone was like oh mr biggs mr biggs but when kfc came out nobody really went to mr biggs again and now mr biggs i had a lot of memories there most of my friends did their birthdays at mr Biggs. so we'd go they'll buy cake for them me my own birthday was only celebrated in church I'm a church kid. My birthdays were always celebrated in church. No, Mr. Beast, no nothing. We can go there to eat though. But we're not buying cake there. No. So I was always in my heart, I was like, hey, when will I celebrate my birthday in Mr. Big? So my own was always in the church. My mom would buy gifts to share to church members. No, she's not inviting anybody to Mr. Biggs. Nope. Nah. -uh. We could we could go there but as I said, buy store. Not that we're going there to celebrate birthday. I feel 
it's very 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 relatable it's banger now they call it knockout they call it la mole they call it banger they call it depending names i knew that banger fireworks shh people call this shh i'm serious people call it all sorts of names and they had different types People don't play it anymore because I heard it was banned, which is very good actually. Because I never, I only played that thing once, and that was in that was because people were forcing me to do it. Not that I really wanted to do it because the stories I heard, I heard it blew up a roof. Then in my village, when we used to travel to the village, you hear everywhere sometimes they even threw it under the vehicle we were in i was like hey if this vehicle should ignite and ignite the fire may i don't jack power i've gone I'm really happy when it was banned but some kids still play but not like before and i'm very happy if you like roast me in the comment section i don't care i don't I don't wanna know, and I don't give a damn, damn, damn. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. I think Nigerians would, you know, Africans and also Nigerians, a sweet sensation, sweet sensation. Rest that time was ah. I don't know now. I haven't going to sweet sensation in the room. the next one is tasty fried chicken tasty fried chicken tasty fried chicken hell that place was ah where that place was like dominoes of now if you are lying god is watching you god is watching you tasty fried chicken <laughs> i remember then people used to mistake mistake it for is it mistake it for anyhow shall you understand what i mean People used to take it for a chicken republic so they were like oh is it chicken republic are talking about they were like no it's tasty fried chicken they'd be like oh, okay yeah yeah, yeah 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 chicken republic had something they called pizza republic that was my the first time i ate pizza it was there then all of a sudden i didn't just see it anymore it broke my heart though because before dominoes the bonniers all these things came out that was the first place that i ate pizza as a child i remember the exact date time where another thing that i think the whole africa african kids people born in 19 something 20 2000 would know is capricorn now if you didn't drink capricorn what did you now drink eh what did you drink if you didn't drink capricorn as a child what did you drink what did you drink? I'm asking you. What did you drink? If you didn't drink capsule as a child, no, you tell me. What did you drink? The one I saw when I was a child was S U N, I think. But the one I'm seeing now is S O O N. So somebody tell me, I don't know. Did they change their company? And that time it was 15 naira. Now I heard it's 60 naira. How much it is in other countries? yeah i i know Ghanaians take choco malts i think that's also very very nice a eh. ready to set sip choco malts ready to set sip choco malts ready to set sip anyway i don't have the ad i would have showed you the advance my cousins understand cousins if you are watching this video you know my brothers understand this is me editing i forgot to add bobo if you didn't drink bobo what did you drink what did you drink? What did you drink if you didn't drink Bobo and Viju? BB Star. Yes, I didn't. I don't think there was anything like plastic Fanta, plastic Coke, <laughs> plastic K. It was not until recently they started bringing plastic stuff, plastic, which we thank them, but it's really doing harm to the environment you know pollution and all that but it's portable it's better we can even recycle it you get but then and the bottle the glass bottle they've made they've even revamped it then we were taking fanta coke pepsi sprite in an asian bottle i'll put a picture of so if you are messing with me you don't know that you don't know that you are messing with somebody who is old you don't know 
you don't know your mates rubbish another thing i took as a child was ice lolly we call it ice lolly some people call it supreme some people call it lollipop but the people who call it lollipop were stupid lollipop is sweet no offense but I had two flavors so that time it was like 50 naira i took it every day every single day in my primary school so if you like this video and relate to anything that i've said please comment down below your comment makes me happy and makes me know that i'm not just talking to myself but i'm talking to people thank you so much for watching this video please follow me on my social media handles they are displayed on your screen so share this video with your mama your papa your auntie your uncle everybody let them know and let's get to 100 subscribers i would love it thank you so much for watching bye